guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Katie. So I first want to start off this video by giving everybody a huge thank you who have subscribed to my channel and who've given a thumbs up on my first video. And I just want to thank everybody for giving me the support that I've been getting. Like, you guys have no idea how much the support has really, really meant to me. And some of you guys may or may not have noticed that I haven't been active on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, or Snapchat in, like, probably over two years. And that's just another video for another day. Um, I just want to give everybody a huge thank you for taking the time out of their day to not only watch my video but to even share it on their own platform whether it was putting it on their insta story or posting it on their actual instagram or their facebook stories or just sharing it in general that just really 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 meant a lot to me and really helped me so i give you guys a huge huge thank you i really want to dedicate this to the class of 2020 i just want to congratulate you guys on all your accomplishments whether you're graduating from elementary middle school high school college your master's program it's not easy going to school especially college college is no joke um i definitely went through it in college so the fact that you guys are done you guys did it you finished you are getting your degree and it just makes me sad that you guys don't get your proper graduation the way that you deserve. So I know you're gonna be bombarded with the question, so what's next? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna go for your master's and all that? Trust me, trust me. I got it the whole time and it really stressed me out. So <sighs> it's okay, don't worry, it's fine. I know it's a confusing time, but just know you guys got this. You got it video i thought it'd be like a cool fun idea if we just you know put on a rug our favorite slippers and just kind of chill for tonight and do like an at home facial type of thing and just kind of hang out with you guys because you know skincare is really important and before i even want to get into like makeup stuff like tutorials and all that stuff i really want to drive that skincare because skincare is really important because honestly like i was so bad with skincare for so long for so long i would constantly fall asleep with my makeup on i wouldn't even take it off i wouldn't really properly clean my face if i did just so happen to take off my makeup that day that's all i would do i would just take off the makeup and then go to sleep so i yeah i am blessed that i don't have bad acne and that i don't really break out as much the only really time that i do break out is if honestly if it's that time of the month but for the most part i'm taking better care of my skin so skincare is important you guys nicole taught me best but yeah so come with me all right y'all so I changed locations. I am in my mom's restroom. So thanks mom and dad for letting me haul your restroom. So I will haul the other restroom. But I am now comfy. I got my sweats on. I have my robe on, my slippers, and I have my cute pink sparkly robe that my bestie got me. Cute little headband and we are gonna get this facial going. Now I do want to just let y'all know that these are just the products that i use i'm not gonna lie to you they're a little a little pricey so <laughs> you don't have to use these products that i'm about to use for my home facial you guys can literally use any anything anything that you already use for your skincare you don't feel obligated to go out and buy this this is just because i just i love them i just love these products so much but yes, they are freaking pricey. So, yeah. So, obviously the first thing you wanna do is take off your makeup. It's that time of day. So I've been using the Neutrogena wipes to take off my makeup, but I am 
looking for some other makeup wipes um just because i don't know i just want to try something different um if i'm not using neutrogena i actually do use like the mary Kay wipes makeup wipes or the mary Kay um eye makeup remover that thing is bomb i love that eye makeup remover and even the makeup wipes that mary Kay sells i love them so i'm just gonna take off my makeup and i am so sorry if i about to scare you but it's just I've been hearing a lot of people talk about the um, like the makeup eraser wipes, and I ordered some like cheaper ones on Amazon, so those should be coming in I think tomorrow or something. So we'll see. I just I think I got Dorothy in the makeup box. I'm so sorry if this like mirror gets in the way. I'm blind like my camera is not even too far away from me and it's blurry <laughs> i can't see it <laughs> but yeah i'm just gonna pop up my glasses real quick all right so i got my makeup off and yeah you can see i have some <sighs> some friends on my face but that's fine it's okay i'm not there all right, so the first thing that I'm gonna go in is with my cleanser. This is the Apricot Mango Cleansing Milk from Sorella. You're gonna see me use a lot of this brand. Um, but like I said, this brand is actually really expensive. I think this one is probably like 40 bucks or something like that. And some of these range from like 60, like I think the cheapest item is like $42. So these do not come cheap at all, but I love how they work i love how they smell um when i bought them like individually because there was no way i could afford to buy them all at once like, you're crazy no it's not gonna happen so i really like this cleansing mouth because this also works as a makeup remover too so like if i wanted to be lazy i don't even have to really go in with um the wipes but i do it anyways i just want to massage it and your face for about a minute now if you do have like a lot more makeup you don't have to use water but if you want more of the help you could add water beforehand but with this cleanser you don't need to do that so now i'm gonna use my steamer that i got on amazon you guys love this steamer you should definitely invest in a steamer i will talk more about it in another video with the steamer you want to steam your face for about like five to ten minutes you don't want to overdo it and like i said you don't want to do it every single day i steam my face only once a week typically i do my facials wednesdays that's when i We'll go in with my facial steamer and with my sonic scrubber as well it's good don't stand too close to the steamer just because you will burn your face and you don't want that so just keep it a good distance between your face and the steamer and what i like about this too is that you could adjust it to either go higher or lower if you want i'm gonna do it higher since i'm standing up sometimes i'm sitting down like in front of my desk or something and doing this. Right. So I'm gonna keep the steamer going on for a little longer, but I'm just gonna have it in the background as I use my supersonic skin scrubber. Um, the face needs to be wet for this. So that's why. I 
I don't know if you could see like some of that gunk from my nose. See, it does have some some gunk on it. Like I said, with this thing again, you don't want to use this every day. You just want to use. I use this only once a week, so just use it once a week got this on amazon as well now i'm gonna go in with this mint poppy seed polish mask this also works as an exfoliant but you could also use it as a mask i use it as a mask um that really helps really tighten up your skin so because it's technically exfoliated you don't want to like over exfoliate your skin so i'm more gonna i'm gonna be really gentle with this and this mask you leave on for about 20 minutes so i'm just gonna work it in with monique i'm gonna get everything everywhere and i'm gonna leave this on for about 20 minutes i'm gonna go scare my neighbors while I go take my dog out to go use this. So I already washed off the mask. It's been 20 minutes, so I already washed it off before I came back on camera because you guys don't need to see me wash it off. So next, I'm gonna go in with the Watermelon Mint Hydrating Mist. You guys this was like the very first product that i got from sorella and i fell in love it smells so bomb so freaking bomb it was also cool about this um hydrating mist is that you can use it as a setting spray as well or you could just spritz your face throughout the day um just to touch up your makeup but i love this toner love it love it so next this is also kind of new to my facial routine this is the derma micro needling roller i got this off of amazon now with this you could use it every day depending on your skin if your skin can handle it if not you could use it every other every other day or every two days depending on the size of the needles. I think mine is 0.25 if I'm not mistaken. I love this thing. I'm just going to lay spots again. But I love it. And that I'm going to go in with my lemon lightning serum. So. All of these products smell so bomb. Like, so bomb. It's definitely worth the price. I've noticed a big difference in my skin when I started using these products. So, that's why I have them. Like, I know they're expensive, but honestly, like, skincare is an investment. So, I would rather spend money, a lot of money, on skincare than be spending a lot on makeup and lately that's just been my vibe i just been buying a bunch of like skincare tools and all that stuff versus buying makeup i haven't really bought makeup in a really long time up until recently because i was running out of things but skincare i've been splurging a little bit on that so next i'm gonna go in with my blueberry milk moisturizer again guys shit smells fucking Lip scrubber. 
this is actually a Jeffree Star one. Listen, do not come for me for using Jeffree Star. I don't have any other lip scrubs at the moment. That is definitely on my list of things to buy. I don't know, I just found some stuff out and you know, some people say like try to separate the makeup with the person and you, you try, but I'm not gonna lie though, his products are good. His new launch, I don't know about that one though. So that's cool. And then because I'm not really gonna go to sleep just yet. I like to use this like lippy gloss. I don't know why I like to put on lip gloss at night. I just do. Now, I normally get lash extensions for like in the summertime. And when I was younger, like you've seen that I wore my glasses. I'm gonna put them on real quick. You guys see that I wear glasses. So when I was little, I used to have like really, really long lashes. And one morning, like I was just getting really tired of my lashes always hitting my glasses. So I woke up, grabbed some scissors, and I cut my lashes. And they just never grew back um, long like they were before. So um, when I started wearing lash extensions, they didn't damage my lashes or anything like that, but I started um, wearing or using um, lash serums just to help my lashes grow a little bit. And using this new lash serum from It Works, and this is barely like my second week, but the other lash serum that I've also been using, which I don't have it on me right now, it's at my boyfriend's house, but that one also really worked really really well so i'll try to find it on amazon because that's where i got it and i'll link it down below because that one's really good too but this one is in collaboration with dr nasif from botch so and this thing is like really really expensive as well my mom also sells it in words and i didn't realize how expensive like this little thing runs from like 60 dollars to like a hundred dollars around there i was like whoa that's crazy so but i have noticed a difference just using these and so this is pretty much how i will close out my facial this is my last step that i take when i am doing my facial And I really like it because, like I said, I don't really like wearing falsies as much anymore when I do my makeup. I'll, like, put it on, like, every so often. Um, but I've just been really loving my natural lashes because um, you can actually see them now versus before you really couldn't see my lashes. So I had to wear falsies for you to even be able to, like, tell that I have some kind of lashes. So I'm really happy with this product and the other lash serum that I have. So that is pretty much how I do my at-home facial since I can't go out and get do my own facial or go with Nicole to get a facial. So this is just what I've been doing at home, um, just a little routine that I've came up with and started doing and I, I love it. I love having some me time and doing my facials and stuff like that. So. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys had some fun hanging out with me and doing a facial with me. And yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a good one.